Is it possible to work in marketing as an introverted person? I am going to let you guys spend a day with me as I navigate the day through the wonderful fast paced world of digital marketing at my agency. I typically try to wake up at around 5 a.m. Usually I have already taken a shower, brushed my teeth, and set out my clothes from the night before. So I get dressed and start on my skincare routine with a gentle cleanser before finishing up on my makeup. Now, growing up, I was a major tomboy and wouldn't touch lipstick with a 10 foot pole. But as I've gotten older, I have really made a 180. But don't misunderstand, I am not a contour queen. But I always feel satisfied with what I manage to do with my look. I try to tackle my early morning tasks like washing the dishes or doing the laundry. These mornings are the norm on Mondays and Tuesdays when I have to go into the office. Check out my outfit for the day. I am dressing a bit fancier today since we have a meeting with a potential client this morning about a website. And I'm wearing these cute shoes. Don't mind my toes. Please spare me the judgment. <laughs> but yeah. These are the shoes I'm rocking. They are so cute. But I'll be honest with you though. Uh, yeah, I will not be doing a whole lot of walking in these. Uh, I'm trying to get used to walking in heels more. So I've been trying to get used to it. So anyone else not big on eating breakfast in the morning? I feel like anytime I eat breakfast in the morning, I'm always so groggy and so tired. Uh, I just, and I just, I'm just not hungry in the morning. So I think I'm just gonna grab a water bottle and head out. <laughs> with you guys usually uh, the day before uh, if I haven't finished a particular task I'll add it to my calendar so that the next day I know what I need to focus on when I do create my priority list as of right now my three main goals for the day is to one uh, make sure I meet with my boss and the team to go over digital marketing you know as far as the ranking search rankings and everything that I found in bright local the second goal is to um, help out a client with their website uh, apparently they're having an issue with a redirect so I have to work on that and then uh, the third goal for the day is to go ahead and start creating the social media posts for the uh, company uh, website um so this week i think we're going to be focusing on some of the business cards that we've created for a couple of our clients um so yeah and so that way i have a clear idea on what i need to focus on throughout the day based off of my priority list if you guys are interested in learning about how to prioritize your tasks i do have a video of that so check it out in the card above so your girl doesn't wear heels often but i did bring back up <laughs> i brought up some backup shoes just in case because yes like i said your girl ain't a heel girl i have found that for me handling my reach outs before i get started really prevents me from having to jog between projects and phone calls also, it can help me to get a better idea on what needs to be a priority for that day because things can change at any moment and suddenly you've got two other things that <laughs> need to be done and added to your list. And I can't tell you guys how many times 
I was working on something, forgot to reach out to somebody. So then I reached out to them only for them to add to the very list that I just finished creating. So now I have to work towards rearranging things and reprioritizing all of my tasks. After my reach outs, I prepare my Pomodoro timer. I have been using this amazing app called Brain.fm. This is not a sponsored video, but I do highly recommend if you are like me and find that you have a hard time focusing on your work throughout the day. Brain.fm's neurostimulating music helps you to either focus, relax, or sleep better using cutting edge neuroscience to get results. They have a wide selection of music or ambient sounds that you can choose from, and they of course have a Pomodoro feature. If you want to give it a shot, then click on the link in the description below and get your first month for just $1. If you do try it, let me know if it works for you in the comments below. Next, I will start going through our reports on Bright Local. Bright Local is a search engine optimization tool that we use to track search rankings, build citations, and monitor online reviews, um, also stressing the local search performance for our locations. I go through to check if any of our clients have hit their business goals or KPIs, see where they have been improvements, or if there is anything that needs to be improved upon. Okay, so I'm just sprucing up a bit before our meeting today. Um, so, uh, of course, I can't share with you guys the details of the meeting, and of course, I can't record the meeting, but uh, I'll let you guys know how things go afterwards. All right. So, what do I do as a digital marketing and web specialist. My tasks can range from so many things. My tasks usually involve either adding a blog to a web page, updating pictures on a website, updating pricing on a website, keyword research, optimizing a Google profile, setting up and creating a Google business profile, working on a report for a team meeting, putting together proposals for a new client, working on homepage mockups, making sure our website's meta descriptions, page titles, and H1, H2 tags are optimized, creating social media posts, scheduling social media posts using tools like Metricool or Meta Business Suite, etc., etc., etc. At my company, our target audience is local small businesses, and we focus mostly on the local SEO and social media. But I feel as the company continues to expand, I can see the services that we offer doing so as well. All right, so, uh, yeah, I used to have a car mount, uh, but the adhesive on the back of it actually melted off when it was like 90 degrees outside. So, yes, yeah, sorry if this is awkward because I'm actually having to hold my phone right now, but I am so hungry. Uh, I can't wait to grab a bite to eat. Um, the meeting went very well, and now I have to work on preparing a proposal to send to her so that she can sign off on it. So I do have weekly meetings with my boss and the team. Usually it's on like Tuesdays and Thursdays and we just kind of go over our bigger clients. Uh, we talk and discuss whether or not we're hitting our business goals and whether or not we need to adjust our current strategy. So there's that. Wanna go to Chipotle? Let's go to Chipotle. Lord, have mercy. I keep passing like I do. 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 All those loving magics we can get up in between. Trying to get up with me, I can teach you the best. Okay, so I am back from Chipotle. Let me show you guys what I have. God it is so hot, you guys. I'm like burning up. I'm actually probably gonna eat this inside the building I'm probably just gonna take me inside the office and eat it but this is the bowl I got the chicken bowl um, it's got sour cream you know 
pico, guacamole, all of that in there. So I'm going to enjoy this. And guys, you should totally try this. This is so delicious. I drink it every time I go to Chipotle. But yeah, it is, um, it's got lemon, turmeric, and cane sugar in it. So I know, you guys are like, how are you doing this as an introvert? Aren't you nervous? Aren't you scared during these meetings? Aren't you terrible at public speaking? Aren't you socially awkward? Don't introverts lack self-confidence? So let me be quick to say that as introverts, we are just as capable as our extroverted counterparts. Yes, I can get nervous, but given enough preparation, I can give an amazing presentation. Yes, I can be socially awkward, but if I embrace the side of me that prefers to think before I speak, then I can actually hold my own in social interactions. Yes, we are reserved, but there is also a drive to succeed. So never think that just because you're an introvert that a job like this could never work for you. It is definitely possible. I am proof of that. I was lucky to end up at the company where I work because when I first started, I struggled so much. Meetings were the scariest part and usually would feel like I was about to have an anxiety attack each time. I hardly ever spoke out during these meetings. Every time I had to reach out to a client through a phone call, I felt like my heart was about to burst out of my chest. But my boss never really gave up on me. By putting me in these situations and giving me advice along the way, he actually helped me to get out of my comfort zone. Does this mean I don't get nervous before meetings or freak out before having to call a client? No, I, I may still have my moments because the reality is you will run into some clients that can be a bit difficult to work with. But I always try to be mindful and say to myself, it's nothing personal. It has nothing to do with me and everything to do with them. They are probably stressed at their own jobs and they're probably dealing with a lot in life right now and just projecting their stress and frustrations onto me. A lot of times it can also be fear. If I look at it like that, I can shake off the feelings and focus on getting the job done. If I make a mistake, I try not to be as hard on myself and to always take these moments as a lesson learned. What did I learn from this? What can I take away from this? And I work towards improving. Doing this over the years has given me more confidence over time. <sighs> I, all right, well, I am finished for the day and I cannot wait to get home. Uh, <laughs> uh, for the rest of the week, I work from home and I always look forward to it. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in me doing a video like this, but a work from home edition, show me some love and support by giving this video a like and express it in the comments below. Now, be sure to check out this video here if you are interested in hearing my take on extrovert introvert relationships. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next video, take care.